Star Trek is, at its roots, an exploratory series. Whether the crew is exploring a sector by choice, or stranded due to unfortunate accident ahem, Voyager, their primary focus when tooling around the universe, is looking for new things and cataloging them. As a whole, although there are exceptions, crews are respectful when meeting with aliens, and, if the species happens to be less technologically advanced than themselves, they observe a prime directive of non-interference. On the surface, this makes Star Trek sound like a boring series, a bunch of pacifists cataloging alien environments, but in reality, there is much more happening underneath the surface. Crews adapt over time and learn from their encounters with various species, sometimes even reflecting on how meeting other cultures makes them feel about their own species. Think about Data the next generation, for example an android who is always observing humans in his quest to become more human like himself. That line comes straight out of the moving Star Trek to the Wrath of Khan 1982, which many fans consider to be the best Star Trek movie of all time. At the movie's end, Spock exposes himself to deadly radiation and, while dying, delivers that line to an upset Captain James T. Kirk. While Spock sacrifice is the most famous, there are many other examples of somebody giving up something to benefit others, and we're not just talking about giving up your life. Abandoned ship Star Trek loves to destroy the Enterprise Think about the number of times that the Enterprise hears a distress call or sees a stranded ship. Usually, they want to rush to the rescue, even if it's to their own crew's detriment, such as being exposed to a nasty disease in the original series episode The Naked Time, 1966. Crew members not only willingly give up their lives for others, but also give up career or life opportunities. For instance, in the Next Generation episode Sins of the Father 1990, Worf willingly accepts a traitor accusation on behalf of his family to stop civil war among the Klingons. Worf's decision essentially makes him an exile from his people. Star Trek broke barriers with each successive series, which is clear even when taking a quick glance at the main cast. The original series 196,669 had a black woman, a Russian during the Cold War, and an Asian man among the main cast, and is popularly cited as featuring the first interracial kiss. The next generation 19,871,994 had high female representation and included episodes dealing with matters such as homosexuality and robot rights. Other series have milestones such as including several aliens in the main cast Deep Space Nine, 19,931,999, or featuring a female captain Star Trek Voyager, 19,952,001. One can argue that Star Trek had more leeway in portraying crews this way because it was a science fiction series, but its decisions to embrace diversity still caused some difficulties for cast members. Kate Mulgrew who played Captain Catherine Janeway on Star Trek Voyager, told a convention audience in 2017 that she was asked repeatedly for her character to have sex, something she felt shouldn't be necessary for a captain. As for the interracial kiss, some reports say that NBC never intended for the Deep South to see it, a decision that fortunately did not come to fruition. Star Trek also wasn't afraid to poke holes in the politics and beliefs of our times. Series creator Gene Roddenberry famously wanted to portray a utopian future where even the crew members did not argue among one another. While Star Trek eventually did allow crews to bicker among themselves for dramatic purposes, there are several episodes in every series that challenge viewers to look at their culture and ask themselves what is truly right. A few examples Balance of Terror, 1966 The original series was an episode ostensibly about an encounter with the Romulans, but in reality it was showing that the Cold War between the United States and Russia was probably a futile exercise. Terra Prime, 2005 Enterprise dealt with a terrorist group that created a Vulcan-human hybrid baby to try to incite conflict among Earthlings and Starfleet. Past Tense, Parts 1 and 2, 1995 Deep Space Nine was a thinly veiled look at class conflict. 